This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we round up all the rumors from the wide, wide, wide world of technology. Even though the iPhone 5 was announced last week, it doesn't stop the Apple rumor mill from churning. Up this week, we got a story about 13-inch Retina Display MacBook Pros, updated iMacs, is Samsung getting ready to sue Apple on their home turf here in the US? Does the release of iTunes 11 coincide with perhaps an iPad mini event next month? And is the Galaxy Note 2 making its way to all four major US carriers? This is Rumor Roundup. Let's go and get started. So the ink has barely dried on the ruling of the Samsung and Apple court case. Samsung being forced to pay over a billion dollars. We'll see how that shakes up though once all the appeals are done. But Samsung definitely is going to have to get their checkbook ready. They also appear ready to sue Apple for the iPhone 5. They are going to be claiming that Apple's iPhone 5 infringes on Samsung's 4G LTE patents, which should make for a very interesting rematch. Consider it round two, the thrill in Manila, the sequel, Holyfield versus Tyson 2 without the ear biting. There's going to be all kinds of exciting dirt throwing, mud slinging, geekery fighting going on. And geek fighting is always fun. It more looks like this. Samsung presumably will be seeking equal uh, or more than what they had to pay out in the first round. Uh, Apple appears to know that they may be guilty and already are rumors that there's been talks of a pre-settlement coming into play. But I doubt Samsung's in the mood to play nice, especially after they just got a little slap around. So one of the hottest phones coming this year is the Galaxy Note 2. We saw it at IFA and supposedly it's going to be making its way to all four US carriers. Yay! The Galaxy Note 1 was initially carried by AT&T, T-Mobile got into the fray, and Samsung and Sprint users were left looking longingly at those two. That mistake though appears to be rectified. Samsung said, hey, you want to carry our behemoth phablet, our tone, everybody loves this giant phone. If you want people to look at you funny, this is going to be the phone for you. And coincidentally, it's probably the phone that I'm most excited about this year. I'm not the biggest fan of TouchWiz, but what Samsung has done with their S Pen looks to be really incredible. It's a totally redesigned S Pen. It's got some cool features where you can take the pen, hover over certain videos, and it'll start playing. You can scrub through. And I'm happy that Sprint, Ryzen, AT&T, and T-Mobile can get in on that action. And it will be LTE for all carriers except T-Mobile. Uh, they don't have an LTE network live yet. Sprint has a little baby LTE network that they're hoping to turn into an adolescent sometime in 2013. Of course, Verizon and AT&T uh, have uh, pretty robust LTE networks in development and deployed uh, already. So hopefully everyone will get some Fablet action. So have you been envious of your friend's Retina Display 15-inch MacBook Pro and wish you could have that same high-resolution awesomeness in a smaller 13-inch package? Well, your wish looks like it's ready to come true. Digitimes, which has a spotty-ish record of reporting Apple News, is claiming that Apple suppliers are already shipping these 13-inch Retina Display panels. So hopefully we are geared up for a refreshed MacBook Pro sometime in the next few weeks. We're hearing maybe mid-October. Not to be left out there with the desktops, we're also hearing rumors that the iMac display was being delayed. There are production issues, supply chain issues, whatever it might be. We're supposed to have a refreshed iMac to coincide with the 13-inch MacBook Pro that might be pushed back another few months. So tears if you're looking to get an updated iMac. What we don't know is that that updated panel is going to be a retina display. I'd assume though on a 27-inch panel that would be super expensive. Unless people want to pay Mac Pro prices for an iMac, uh, I wouldn't look for that to be any sort of retina display uh, like. Although we should have maybe an increased resolution, but not awesome, awesome retina-ness. So I want to take a quick break to thank our friends, sponsors, and overall awesome peeps ads, Netflix. You know them, you love them, you watch movies from them. This is your chance to go ahead and get signed up with them. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC or Mac, or right to your TV with your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii consoles. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and you can cancel anytime. So if you're a fickle pickle, 
you've got that option as well. For a limited time, get a free 30-day trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash buffalo and try out right now. If you're in the UK or Ireland and you're wondering why you couldn't get your Netflix on, well, I have good news for you. Viewers there can get the same free trial as the US. Just go to netflix.co.uk slash buffalo or netflix.ie slash buffalo and you are good in the hood, as the kids like to say. During the iPhone 5 announcement, Apple said that iTunes 11 is going to be coming sometime next month, which puts us in October, which also coincides with another rumor we've been hearing about an iPad mini event scheduled also in October. The iPad mini no doubt has been tested, no doubt they've got one, whether or not it's going to production though is really yet to be seen. With the pricing of the new iPod touches, it's a little bit more sketchy and wondering. I do think though that we are going to see a low storage capacity, perhaps four or eight gigabyte iPad mini come in at that $250 price point. The Steve Jobs era is done, and I think that this makes sense for a business standpoint and from a market saturation standpoint. Profit margins will probably be much smaller on this tablet, but Apple's making most of their money on the ecosystem anyway. More tablets and more hands I mean more people buying apps, more people buying movies, more people playing games. Everything that Apple sells you, that's another way for them to do it. You guys excited about the iPad mini? Honestly, I can, I can care less about it. I mean, it'd be neat to have, but I'd still probably use my good old fashioned regular iPad for when I travel. I like that bigger screen. My eyes are getting bad, apart from staring at screens all the time. I need like a 15 inch tablet. I, can just, like, I need like a big screen TV that I can just carry on my shoulder like, a, like an old school boombox. That'd be cool. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest tech news, reviews, and opinions. I'm your host, John Rettinger. I'll see you guys next week.